Spanning some 71 miles, the River Nith rises in the Carsphere Hills and runs south through diverse countryside to the Solway Firth, joining near Dumfries. Parts of its catchment are designated as sites of special scientific interest and it is home to a rich multitude of wildlife, including important native species of fish. Ensuring that these are protected and allowed to flourish involves some very careful management, particularly by two key bodies. For over 150 years, the Nith District Salmon Fishery Board has carried out important work to protect and enhance stocks of salmon and sea trout, both in the River Nith and its tributaries. This management has also helped to protect the riparian zone generally and ensure its sustainability. The Board has legal powers under the Salmon and Freshwater Fisheries Consolidation Scotland Act 2003, allowing it to conduct works and enforce fisheries legislation to safeguard and improve stocks of migratory salmonoids within its jurisdictional area. Board members, including some who own fishing rights for different areas of the river, meet regularly, working closely with partner organisations including the Scottish Environmental Protection Agency and Scottish Natural Heritage. The day-to-day -day work is carried out by the Fisheries Director, with assistance from a team of water bailiffs and seasonal staff. Working alongside the Nith District Salmon Fishery Board is the Nith Catchment Fishery Trust, a registered charity which aims to conserve and enhance all native freshwater fish and their habitats located within the inland and coastal waters of the River Nith. The Trust also aims to teach a wide range of people about aquatic ecosystems, management of the river catchment and the need for the protection, conservation, rehabilitation and improvement of the area. Voluntary directors of the charity oversee work towards these objectives with a full-time fishery biologist supported by seasonal assistance. One key role carried out by the team who look after the Nith is fishery enforcement. In order to sustain the future of the river, it is essential that the fishing on it is regulated. It's also essential that work to protect and develop the river is funded through permit fees. Afternoon. Afternoon, how are you? Fine, thanks, how are you? Uh, I'm a water bailer, that's my identification. Yeah. Uh, can I get a wee look at your permit, please? Yeah. Aye. Cheers. Enforcement includes checking that those who are fishing the river have a permit to do so, and ensuring that there's a steady conversation between the board, trust, and those using the river. Sorry. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers, you. thank you. For the, uh, yeah, there's getting seat out, right? Yeah. Definitely I A great deal of work also goes into catching people who fish illegally at night. Not as uncommon as you may think. Anyone caught poaching could be detained by bailiffs and end up in court with a hefty fine to pay. The north end of the River Nith is also one of Scotland's main coal grounds, with major works in this area despite the overall decline of the coal industry. The Board and Trust work closely with industry to ensure that changes made to the river habitat don't have a negative impact on wildlife. This can include major projects where the river is diverted to allow for development of coal sites. Board and Trust staff advise on the impact of works, as well as helping to prepare river diversion routes, planting suitable vegetation and ensuring minimal disruption to wildlife.
The board and trust have also worked alongside the major land art project by Charles Jenks to transform former coal fields near Sanka. To be able to confidently comment on the effects industrial works and other environmental factors are having on fish stocks in the river, it is essential that the Nith District Salmon Fishery Board and Nith Catchment Fishery Trust have a finger on the pulse of fish stocks. In the main, this is carried out through a process called electrofishing, where the fish are stunned to allow fishery biologists to count them, check them, and also check to find out what they are feeding on. In order to keep the fish healthy, it's important that the habitat for all the bugs and beasties they feed on is also maintained. This process is carried out at various times throughout the year, but is particularly important before and after major industrial works which affect the river, particularly in the coal fields to the north. Native species of fish are under constant threat from some very invasive non-native species. These are plants and animals which have somehow made their way into the area and flourished in the local climate. Problem species include giant hogweed, Japanese knotweed and Himalayan balsam. Even here on the Col in Dumfries, one of the nest's most iconic landmarks, we see giant hogweed proving to be a problem. The team who manage the river deal with many of these invasive non-native plants by injecting or spraying weed killer on them. This kills the plant and the root whilst avoiding damage to other wildlife. Another potentially hazardous non-native species is the American mink, who are good fishers and can harm young fish stocks. Bailiffs on the river set traps to catch these. One other key area is education and the aim to encourage more young people to get involved in the river. With the average age of those fishing the river in their late 50s, it is essential for sustainability that more young people become interested. As well as a very successful Salmon in the Classroom campaign, awareness is raised through days out by the water with professional fishermen, offering fun, safe experiences in the countryside. And once you've dispatched the fish with the trace, yeah, just open its mouth and insert the marasperm as far as it will go into the fish's stomach. Withdraw the spoon like so. And we've, we've not got a lot, as I said, they're not feeding. And what I think that is, it's a carixa, a lesser water boatman there. Managing the river isn't just about looking after the river itself, it also involves keeping a watch on the inshore Solway Firth, where fishing is carried out using state nets to catch sea trout and salmon. This is an ancient form of fishing, which dates back in this form to the 1800s. Again, it's important to check that this is being done correctly.
We hope you've enjoyed finding out more about the Nith District Salmon Fishery Board and Nith Catchment Fisheries Trust, working together to maintain and enhance the river. To find out more, visit www.river-nith.com.